These are the best inexpensive phones you can get right now. Every phone here can be found for under $300 and that's the unlocked price. Let's see our options. At number five is a Huawei Honor 6X. You can find this phone for around $200 these days. Its gimmick is its dual rear cameras along with lots of photo tools and modes. The Honor 6X can create that neat depth of field effect. It's also got a pretty big screen with a 5.5 inch display. The fingerprint sensor is on the back and it's easy to reach. At number four is the ZTE Blade V8 Pro, which you can pick up for around $230. It might not be the most exciting phone when it comes to design, but it does have great battery life. The ZTE Blade V8 Pro survived 14 hours in our battery tests. The screen is nice and bright, but we found the phone to be a bit on the heavy side, weighing in at 6.5 ounces. Oh, the V8 Pro also has dual rear cameras that can handle low light situations admirably. At number three is the Alcatel Idol 5S. There's so much to like about this phone. The fingerprint sensor on the rear handles shortcuts like getting you back to the home screen or pulling down the notification tray. While the Idol 5S does not have optical image stabilization, its digital image stabilization worked pretty well. It costs around $200 if you get the Amazon Prime Edition. So what's the downside? The battery life is short at seven hours and 48 minutes. At number two is the amazingly cheap Moto E4. It costs $130 unlocked or $99 if you get the Amazon Prime version with ads. The E4 survived more than 14 hours in our tests. The camera is a bit sluggish when it comes to processing pictures. That may be forgivable because of its price tag. The E4 also has a snappy fingerprint sensor that can handle shortcuts, kind of like the Idol 5S. And the number one cheap phone is the Moto G5 Plus. It starts at around $230 and it's well worth it. You get a near stock version of Android on the G5 Plus. The fingerprint sensor works as well as Apple's Touch ID and it also lets you use gestures as shortcuts. The 12 megapixel camera is decent, although not great in darker environments. The G5 Plus can also capture video in 4K. As CNET editor Patrick Holland said, there is no better budget phone than Motorola's Moto G5 Plus. For more top fives, check out top5.cnet.com. I'm Ayaz Akhtar and I'll see you online.